Good morning. Good morning. I'm Jim McClary. I'm the administrator here at the Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame. I want to welcome you here today for our induction ceremony for officers who've lost their lives in the line of duty. To get us started, uh, we'll have Reverend Eric Skidmore from South Carolina Law Enforcement Assistance Program to give us our invocation. Let us pray. Our gracious God, we read in the Old Testament that we're not to forget your teachings, but rather we're to keep your commandments, that all the days of our life may be long upon the earth, and we're not to let loyalty or faithfulness forsake us. We're to bind them around our neck and write them on the tablet of our heart. We're to trust in you with our whole heart, not relying on our own insight, but in all our ways to acknowledge you, not being wise in our own eyes, always turning away from what is evil. Father, may these words guide us as we define the path that we seek to follow you. This day we honor those men who gave their last full measure of devotion in the pursuit of excellence in the field of law enforcement, cause of justice in this state. We honor these families for the pain they've experienced over the generations because of their officers' sacrifice. May the service and the ultimate death of these officers remain a testimony to the never-ending battle which law enforcement must fight with the forces of evil in this broken world. Father, bless the men and women who continue to seek and serve in this honorable profession and guide us as we all seek to serve you. We pray in thy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Skidmore. The Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame was established in 1974, and it's a division of the South Carolina Department of Public Safety. All the nominations for induction here are reviewed and approved by the Hall of Fame Advisory Committee. That committee consists of SLED Chief Mark Keel, Director um, Robert Bowles of the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, Newberry County Sheriff Lee Foster represents the Sheriff's Association. Uh, Department of Corrections Brian, uh, Director Brian Sterling is uh, also on the committee. South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Association and Chiefs Association Executive Director J.J. Jones serves on the committee and also President of the South Carolina Fraternal Order of Police Terry Ganey serves on this committee. The Chairman of the committee is South Carolina Department of Public Safety Director Robert Woods. Director Woods. Thank you, Jim. Good morning. I am Robert Woods, uh, Director of the South Carolina Department of Public Safety and Chairman of the Law Enforcement Officer Hall of Fame Advisory Committee. It is my privilege to welcome the family members of those we honor today, as well as law enforcement officers and other distinguished guests to the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame. Before I continue, I want to recognize the efforts of the Hall of Fame staff, led by Administrator Jim McClary. This team, year after year, continues to rise above the challenges to maintain the integrity of this treasured place. I assure you that thanks to their efforts, this memorial is treated with the utmost respect and honor. Today's occasion, the induction into the Hall of Fame Memorial Room, is a humble gesture by the people of our great state to recognize and remember the bravery and sacrifices of our fallen heroes. These officers dedicated their lives to the greater good and helped ensure a sense of security in this country and in our local communities. For those of us who continue their legacy by wearing a badge, we honor them by rededicating ourselves to serving with integrity and with the commitment to making our state a safer place for every person we serve. Although these heroes are no longer with us, their sacrifices and contributions have made an imprint on all of us, on law enforcement as a whole in South Carolina. To the families and representatives from law enforcement divisions across the state, thank you for joining us today. And to those uh, viewing uh, virtually, we appreciate you joining us to pause and acknowledge the ultimate sacrifice of these officers. Whether the line of duty death occurred in recent years or many decades ago, each and every hero deserves this place of honor. Thank you, and may God bless you. Thank you, Director. 
I also want to thank my staff here at the Hall of Fame. Uh, they've worked very hard to pull this together. Uh, Y'all have been in contact with most of them through emails about the, the event here today. So um, I, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the work that they've done to pull this together. Today, uh, we begin in our induction ceremony with a historical nomination uh, that dates back to 1874. Um, and John Favors here from the Newberry Museum is the one who brought this to our attention. Uh, a lot of times, uh, there's a lot of gratitude, going, a lot of satisfaction going back and finding these officers that have never been recognized before. So uh, when we find one, it, it's pretty neat. It's a detective work all over again. It takes a lot of research. But Private Henry Bluford of the Newberry Police Department, end of watch October 19th, 1874. Henry Bluford joined the Newberry Police Department early in 1874, where he served along with another African-American officer and two white officers under Chief of Police John Housel. On October 19th, 1874, the old John Robinson's Great World's Exposition Show came to Newberry and paraded down Main Street. Following the circus parade, a civil disturbance broke out between white and black citizens on McKibben Street. As the riot escalated, Private Bluford moved forward to intervene. When he attempted to arrest one of the instigators, he was shot by one of the rioters. Pri Private Bluford fell mortally wounded and died almost instantly. Private Bluford was widely recognized by both white and black members of the community as a good man and citizen and a faithful police officer. Private Bluford was the first Newberry City Police officer to be killed in the line of duty and the second African American officer to be killed in the line of duty in South Carolina. Today we honor Private Henry Bluford and pledge that his service and sacrifice will never be forgotten. We have Newberry Police Chief Kevin Goodwin. If you would help us place the plaque on the wall, please. remembrances for the family. Thank you, Chief. Our next inductee is Officer C. Harvey Burt from the Barnwell Police Department. End of watch, December 24th, 1971. Charles Harvey Burt was born in Barnwell County on June 1st, 1923 to Freddie C. and Helen Ruth Hare Burt. He grew up on a family farm in Williston with four sisters and a brother. He married Miss Maddie Lou Keel on July 5th, 1941, together they had a son, Charles Wesley, and a daughter, Alice. Harvey joined the United States Army on April 21st, 1944, and was honorably discharged as a sergeant from the 4th Combat Engineer Battalion on January 17, 1946. He always worked in the printing business, and in 1969, Harvey Burt joined the Barnwell Police Department. On December 24, 1971, Patrolman Burt was dispatched to a shoplifting in progress at a business on Main Street. Upon arrival, the shoplifting suspect fled and a foot pursuit ensued. Patrolman Burt chased the suspect but lost sight of him. Patrolman Burt began having chest pains and returned to the clock in front of the courthouse. Shortly thereafter, Patrolman Burt died of an apparent heart attack. Based on his service and sacrifice, today we induct Patrolman C. Harvey Burt into the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame, never to be forgotten. Sled, uh, Harvey Burt was Sledge Chief Mark Keel's uncle and was the main reason he got into law enforcement. So Chief, if you would help us with it.
Thank you, Chief. <clears throat> Our next inductee is Sergeant Edward John Marcarella from the Colleton County Sheriff's Office. End of watch, January 16th, 2021. Edward Marcarella Jr. served in the United States Army as an EOD specialist beginning in 1983 and served with the Army National Guard until 1989. Following his mi uh, military service, Ed joined the Hilton Head Fire Rescue as a fireman and for 17 years and then served as a paramedic for eight more years. He joined the Ridgeland Police Department where he served as a drug interdiction officer prior to joining the Colleton County Sheriff's Office. In addition to being a bomb specialist and working undercover narcotics, uh, Sergeant Marcarella was a member of the Special Weapons and Tactics Team and the Special Response Team. He found his calling as a detective where he investigated sex crimes and crimes against children. Sergeant Marcarella served as co-chairman of the Low Country Human Trafficking Task Force for the 14th Judicial Circuit and was an active investigator for the Attorney General's Internet Crimes Against Children team. On January 16th, 2021, Detective Sergeant Ed Marcarella Jr. died at the Colican Medical Center following a short but strong-willed battle with COVID-19. He was 55 years old. For his service and sacrifice, today we induct Detective Sergeant Edward J. Marcarella, Jr. into the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame, never to be forgotten. Director Woods, if you would. We'll go in the first empty spot down there. Thank you, Drake. Our next inductee is Sergeant Tommy Cudd of the Union County Sheriff's Office. End of watch, January 28, 2021. Tommy Cudd joined the Union Police Department on January 1, 1983, where he served as a reserve officer. He was later hired as a fireman for the city of Union and then became a public safety officer. In May of 1986, he was hired by Union County Sheriff William Jolly as a deputy sheriff. Sergeant Cudd served under five sheriffs, was Officer of the Year in 1992, 2010, and 2018. He battled leukemia for a number of years, but never allowed the disease or his treatments to hinder his duties. Sergeant Cudd, Cudd contracted COVID-19 and died of related complications on January 28, 2021. He was 60 years old and had served for over 37 years. For his service and sacrifice, today we induct Sergeant Tommy Cudd into the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame, never to be forgotten. And Sheriff Jeff Bailey from Union County. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. Our next inductee is Public Safety Officer Kevin Summons, Aiken Department of Public Safety. End of watch, August 15th, 2021. Kevin Summons joined the Aiken Department of Public Safety as a public safety officer and firefighter on May 10th, 2021. On July 29th, while undergoing fire, basic fire training in conjunction with the North Augusta Pup Department of Public Safety, he, along with several other trainees, were exposed to the COVID-19 virus. A few days later, Officer Simmons tested positive and his symptoms worsened. On August 10th, he was admitted to the hospital in Augusta and passed away five days later. Today, we induct 
Officer Kevin Simmons into the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame for his service, for his service and sacrifice, and he will not be forgotten. We have Chief Charles Barranco of the Aiken Department of Public Safety. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Public Safety Officer Dustin Michael Beasley, North Augusta Department of Public Safety, end of watch August 30th, 2021. Dustin Michael Beasley began his law enforcement career with the Barnwell County Sheriff's Office. He also served with the Barnwell Police Department, the Williston Police Department, and with the South Carolina Highway Patrol. On December 20th, excuse me, on December of 2020, Dustin Beasley joined the North Augusta Department of Public Safety as a public safety officer. During the summer of 2021, Officer Beasley contracted COVID-19 and died as a result of complications on August 30th, 2021. He was, he was 30 years old. For his service and sacrifice, today we induct Officer Dustin Beasley into the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame, so he will never be forgotten. Chief Thomas from the North Augusta Police Department. Thank you, Chief. Officer Stephen Unique Jones, Barnwell Police Department. End of watch, September 12th, 2021. Stephen Jones was born in Barnwell County and graduated from Blackville Hill High School. He served his country by joining the United States Marine Corps. Following his military service, he began his law enforcement career with the Barnwell Sheriff's Office and later served with the Blackville Police Department. In July of 2021, he joined the Barnwell Police Department. Officer Jones contracted the COVID-19 virus and passed away on September 12, 2021. In recognition of his service and sacrifice, today we induct Officer Stephen Jones into the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame, never to be forgotten. We have Captain Howard from the Barnwell Police Department. Thank you, Captain. The lives of your loved ones and co-workers will forever be etched on your hearts and in your memories. It's our responsibility here at the Hall of Fame to preserve that memory and ensure that their service and sacrifice will never be forgotten. Thank you for allowing us this honor. 
Reverend Skidmore, if you would close us out. Our benediction today is the Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warmly upon your face and the rains fall softly upon your fields until we meet again. May God hold you in the palm of His hand. Go in peace. Amen.